Good morning, everybody. It is 10.50 a.m., October 8th, 2017. Very interesting article on ScienceDaily.com. Uh, this is actually from October 4th. I don't know how I missed this, but this is going to be very intriguing to people, especially that um, research Planet X. Uh, this is an article about Planet Nine. Uh, here's an artist's rendition of uh, an idea of where Planet Nine may be. They believe it does exist. This is actually a picture of uh, Neptune circling the sun. Neptune's orbit is shown as a bright ring around the sun. But here we go. So this researcher named Constantine Batigin, he works with a, uh, a publisher, I think, called, uh, named Mike Brown. Uh, Constantine is a, he's a planetary astrophysicist at Caltech Pasadena, California. And basically this article explains how he is very convinced that this planet exists, but um, in a way it almost mocks uh, people that study this stuff. If you want to see right here, it says, If a planet is there, it's extremely distant and will stay that way with no chance, in case you're wondering, of ever colliding with Earth or bringing days of darkness. So that may be a little bit of a mock to the uh, groups that study this planet. I know I have some followers that study this. Very interesting stuff. Um, but nonetheless, the article goes on. It uh, goes on, like I said, to explain uh, his different reasonings as to why he believes it exists. He actually is quoted saying, If you were to remove the explanation and imagine Planet Nine does not exist, then you generate more problems than you can solve. So he's very convinced this uh, planet exists. He thinks that over the last 4.5 billion years, it's the reason that... Uh, the current planets we know about uh, going around the sun have tilted about six degrees uh, compared to the sun's equator. So he's using that as a reasoning to that. So basically planet nine is so far out and so big and massive that it's actually changing the orbits of our known planets over time. Uh, which is interesting. I've read stuff about that. Um, again, I don't really know enough about this stuff to really dig into it and give you facts, but being that this article was on Science Daily, I felt it was very important to show you guys. Um, he also explains that in 2016, he found uh, six objects beyond Neptune that, were, that seemed to be icy bodies that had elliptical orbits. So the opposite of the orbits of us traveling around the sun, these have very high and then very low elliptical orbits, which kind of match some of the theories about uh, things like Planet X and, and Nibiru and stuff like that. Uh, so very interesting stuff. Uh, there's a few more things in here. He goes on to say that he believes this planet will eventually make the Earth's uh, orbit wobble. I've read a lot about that. And um, basically it says other scientists offer a different possible explanation for the Planet Nine evidence cited by Batigin. That's uh, Constantine, the guy we're talking about. A recent analysis based on a sky mapping project called the Outer Solar System Origin Survey, which discovered more than 800 new trans-Neptunian objects, suggests that the evidence also could be consistent with a random distribution of such objects. Still, the analysis from the, t from the team, led by Corey Shankman of the University of Victoria, could not rule out Planet Nine. So guys, they're not... They're basically not saying, or they're not admitting based on this guy's research that it exists. They're offering other explanations. So, do they believe it's there? Do they not? I mean, this is a pretty mainstream article right here. I don't know how I didn't see it. It wasn't in uh, my notifications feed, so they basically skipped the fourth. But, very interesting article. Anyone that wants to check this out, I highly recommend you do. I'll have it in the description box. Uh, we may be hearing a lot about this soon. Uh, very interesting stuff, guys. Thank you very much. I'll be back shortly.